Hey everyone! Today I will be doing a video on how to apply and remove caviar nails. This is how my design looks like. I have blue and red caviar beads. I got my inspiration from the May issue of Her World magazine I read recently. This season, it's all about textures and patterns. According to this magazine, a small bottle of this nail polish is pretty pricey. Let me show you how I apply and remove it later on. I decided to include the process on how I removed it because some people may find it difficult to remove it as compared to normal nail polish. The items I used are the base coat, red and blue nail polish, and the top coat. I chose red and blue nail polish to match the color of the beads. This is so that if the beads do drop, it is not so obvious. You can choose to use a different color nail polish, especially if you have multicolored beads to make it random or different. But I only had two colors, so I worked with what I have. I also use blue and red caviar beads that I got from the craft store because it is cheaper as compared to buying the nail polish and a small container. I have to admit that in terms of practicality, this is not the best design. There are possibilities that the beads will drop if you are careless like me or do chores at home. However, this design is good if you are trying to do something different. So, I recommend doing this on your X and nail instead of all five fingers on one hand. That way, you still get the design you want and chances are the beads may not drop as much compared to putting the beads on all five fingers. This trend took me more time to appreciate as compared to others. It's all personal preference. I did think that it was a little bit too different at first because it wasn't like normal nail polish. In this video, I will show you two methods to get the beads on your nails. And I will explain which I recommend and prefer later on. Apply the base coat to protect your natural nail. Then I apply the red nail polish. There are two ways I did this. The first way is to pour the beads on the nail. I open my container and with another container underneath to collect the excess beads for easier cleanup. I just poured it over my nail. Bear in mind that there will be small gaps since the beads are circle shaped. It is not like squares where they will fit so well and stack side by side each other. It is important to press the beads on your nails lightly. This will help to prevent them from falling off. The second method is to dip your nail into the container while your nail polish is still wet. Here, the nail polish is acting like glue for the beads to stick. Since I had beads from my previous method in the container, I stuck to using red beads instead of blue. My original intention was to show two different colours for variety. Just dip your nail into the container. Turn your nail to both sides instead of just the middle so that the sides of your nail will be covered too. Just like before, press the beads onto your nail slightly so hopefully the beads will stick better and longer. Once I'm done, I pour the beads back into their container. Next, I apply the top coat. The top coat for this is very important because it helps to seal the beads together to prevent the beads from dropping. Next to remove it, I just use normal nail polish. I take my cotton pad and wipe it on the top of my nails. Press the cotton pad with nail remover for about 3-5 to five minutes and hopefully the beads will have come off. As you can see, the colour on my beads did not last and turned to silver. It will not be that difficult to remove the beads if there is enough nail polish remover. If that does not work, you can use nail polish remover with acetone, but that is bad for your nails and I do not recommend it. Personally, I did not have much trouble removing this design. Among both methods, I recommend and prefer pouring the beads 
This is so that you can control where you want the beads to go. If you miss a spot, just go back and pour it over again. If you dip into the container, there are times where not every part of the nail is covered. If you go and dip a second time, there are cases where the beads may drop when I brush it against the container. Or if not, the beads will pile up onto the first layer and it does not become so neat. All in all, it is your personal preference and your choice. So go ahead and try both because you might like the other method better. And that's about it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Feel free to leave any comments below and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!